Hello, my name is Michael Lafalayo of the Flourish Field, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a simple project from scratch. Now, what are we going to be looking at deeply? I'm going to be showing you how to create a backdrop from scratch, how to add sprites, that is, little characters in scratch, and also I'm going to be showing you how to write simple instructions for those sprites to follow. I want you to stay tuned on this video because it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's get started. Alright, now the first thing for you to do is to go to the Scratch Online platform, scratch.mit.edu, and then you could actually join Scratch or sign in. But because of this short video, I'm just going to be showing you how to create using the scratch platform so all you need to do is just to click on start creating and then the scratch platform would be launched all right now this is a scratch platform and um, this is where we can actually do everything we want to do on scratch write the simple programs and then um, design our backdrop let's let's get started okay all right the first thing for you to do is to delete this sprite right here now how do we delete? Just move your pointer to this delete icon and then we'll just click on delete. Now the sprite is gone. Okay, so now how do we add a backdrop to this project? All you need to do is just to come to this logo right here and it says choose a backdrop. This is choose a backdrop, paint a backdrop, surprise and then upload a backdrop. For now, I'm going to be showing you how to choose a backdrop. In the next video, I'm going to be showing you how to paint your own backdrop. But for now, we are going to be choosing a backdrop. So I'm going to select a backdrop of my choice. Um, all right, I'm going to be picking a um, farm. Now, this is farm. Now, let's add sprites to this um, backdrop or background. How do we do that? We just come to this choose sprite, the, the one immediately after choose backdrop, just click choose sprite and then I click on it. Then I'll be able to select the sprite of my choice. For now, I'm going to be picking AV. Now, this is AV. All right, probably AV is going to stand right here. And then I'm going to select again another character, say Avery. All right. I want to say something that for you to create a scratch project you should have a story all right in this story I'm gonna we're gonna have two um, sprites having a conversation probably about anything okay but now looking at these two sprites right here obviously it's it's looking like as if they are not ready for a conversation because this needs to be facing the direction of AB now how do we flip this how do we flip this sprite right here to face this direction all you need to do is to click on this icon and then go to costume now in costume you'll see something like flip horizontal so when you click it it means you want it to flip left right so can you see it's flipping left it's flipping right so we want it to turn this way so we're going to leave it like that if you want to let it flip upside down up and down so all you need to just do is just to click up you see but for now we're just leaving it like this all right now it's time for us to have a conversation all right so another thing i want to say is you can actually um add color to it if you probably want to change the color of avery just select any color and then um, just select that you see like so and uh, you should have um, something cool. Oops, <laughs> I'm trying to select that. Okay, look at me. All right, now, so let's start coding. So we're going to come to code and then click on AV. Now, in Scratch, uh, there's something we call events. Just like in programming, uh, we, we always have a starting point and an end point. Also, in algorithm, we always have a start point and end point. So to start any project in Sprite or in Scratch, 
you always need to start with, this, with, a, with an event. Events are the starting point of Scratch projects, all right? So they always make our code run. So now I'm gonna click on events. So that's the first block I want you to know. All this code right there could start your event. So it would be when flag is clicked or when space or any other key are pressed or when the sprite is clicked or when the background switches. All of this would start your project. But for in this case, I'm gonna begin when flag is clicked. Now what this simply means is that when I click on this flag, whatever code I have added to this event will be run by AB. I hope you understand that, all right? So if you feel I'm too fast, you can pause the video and then follow along. All right, so this is the event. And then the first thing I want AB to do is to you know, say hello and then ask, ask for a name. So now, how do we, whenever you want a sprite to say something, you come to looks. Now looks, you have see, you see, think, see? All these are under looks. But for now, I'm gonna be picking CLO. Now CLO for five seconds, and then it's gonna be, hello, my name is AB. What's yours? What is your name? You see? Now that's the first conversation. Now if you feel it's too big, you could actually reduce it. All right, so that's, that's the first conversation. So how do we check? Remember what I said that whenever you click on this flag, the code on that is wrong. So let's click. Can you see that? Hello, my name is AB. What is your name? So now it's time for Avery to also respond. Remember what I said. I said always start your code with an event. So I'm starting with event code when flag is clicked. But now, because we want it to look like a conversation, all right? So AB is speaking for five seconds. So that means Avery would wait for five or more seconds. So she's going to wait for her to finish talking before she see she reply. So you just come to control. Under control, we have a lot of control structures. But for now, this is the only one I want you to know how to use the control. That's wait. So you drag it right there, and then you're telling Avery to wait for six seconds before she see anything she wants to say. So how do we say? You come to look, and then you say, say. And she's going to reply by saying, hi, my name Avery and it's nice to meet you you see you could actually let us see this for five seconds and then um, you could actually let us see another, another thing like okay hi my name is Avery and it's nice to meet you where are you going or where are you from? Where are you from? You could just think of a story, okay? And then you could just say this for four seconds. Okay, let's reduce this to four seconds. Okay, where are you from? You understand? All right, let's check our code so far and then see what we've done. Hello, my name is AB. What is your name? Hi, my name is Avery, and it's nice to meet you. Where are you from? You see, it's kind of like a conversation now. So it means that it's time for AB to say something, okay? Now for AB to say anything, AB is gonna wait for the number of seconds um, she was talking. For example, AB was talking for eight seconds. So AB is gonna wait for probably nine seconds. So you understand the logic? It's just simple calculation. So AB is going to wait for, say, nine seconds, and then she's going to say, um, looks, and then she's going to say, wow, oh, I'm from Canada. 
Sorry, I just don't know. I just picked Canada, okay? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yes, I'm from Canada. Then you should just um, say that for four seconds. And then that's how the, um, that's how the conversation continue going, okay? I would like you to, you know, keep trying that. You could share your Scratch project with me by dropping it on the, um, on the YouTube comments or sending it to the email attached to the, uh, sending it to the email attached to the um, YouTube channel. Please, I want you to like, subscribe, and um, always comment so I could, you know, improve on the lecture or anything I'm going to do. So in the next class, I'm going to be showing you how to use motion. I want to teach you everything on scratch. So we're going to be breaking it down piece by piece. We're, we're going to be having stories to tell in the scratch project. All right. So remember to subscribe, like, and then, you know, turn on your notification to always get more videos from Flourish Field. All right. Thank you. And um, see you in the next video.